this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to increase overlap in an ASI or SSI measurement. So I'm on the lattice design screen here uh, in the ASI software, and I have defined a simple sphere with a 100 millimeter diameter circular aperture and a 100 millimeter radius. I have the six inch F2.2 transmission sphere selected. And if I go ahead and just click the play button to design a lattice with the default settings, uh, I get a lattice that is going to work well for most situations. Uh, it's a relatively fast measurement and it's, it's going to be perfectly adequate for most situations. But if I'm trying to achieve the highest levels of accuracy and the best repeatability possible, I may want to increase the number of sub-apertures and increase the overlap to, uh, to achieve that. So depending on which lattice designer I'm using, there are different ways to increase the overlap. So I'm going to start out with the standard uh, legacy ring-based lattice designer and then use the grid designer. So if I go into the parameters screen, you can see that there are several parameters here that affect overlap. There's the center overlap factor, which specifies how much overlap there is between the first ring of sub-apertures and the central sub-apertures. There's the ring overlap factor, which specifies how much overlap there is between all of the other rings. And then there are two parameters for the additional sub-apertures per ring uh, in, in the outer ring and then all the other rings of sub-apertures. And this specifies the amount of overlap among the sub-apertures in a particular ring uh, as muthally. So for these first two parameters, if I decrease the value, that will actually increase the overlap. And for the additional sub-apertures per ring, if I increase that, th the value for that parameter, that will increase the amount of overlap. So if I set this to 0.15, the ring overlap factor to minus 0 0.5, and then the additional sub-apertures per ring in the outer ring, and for all the other rings, to 1.5, and then click off and redesign the lattice. You see that I get a, a much denser lattice, and this will help me achieve uh, the best possible accuracy and repeatability. So while it's certainly possible to increase overlap using the legacy ring-based lattice designer, it's not extremely straightforward or intuitive to do so. And so this is one of the things that we improved when developing the grid lattice designer. So if I right click on this measurement configuration, you can see that by default, I have the standard sphere ring-based lattice designer selected, but I can also choose to use the grid lattice designer. And so if I go ahead and select that and then go back down to the parameter screen, you see that I have a new set of parameters for the grid designer. And so there's one main parameter that affects coverage, this target coverage value. And by default, that is set to two. And so that means that for every point on the surface, we want to have at least two sub-apertures measure that particular point. So if I click off and just go ahead and design with those default settings, um, again, I'll get a lattice design that should work well in most cases and should be relatively fast and, and will have about the same number of sub-apertures as the ring-based lattice designer. But again, if we want to achieve the highest levels of accuracy and repeatability, we may want to increase that. So now if I go back to the parameter screen, now it's just a matter of increasing this from 2 to, say, 3 where we want each point on the sub each point on the surface to be measured by at least 3 sub apertures. So I'm going to click off and redesign the lattice. And so when this finishes, we'll see that we have a much denser lattice that again is going to be, you know, not always necessary, but when we have those higher uh, precision applications where we really need the, 
the most accurate measurement, the best repeatability, something like this is going to work a little bit better. And so you see that we end up with something very similar to what we got with the ring-based lattice designer, but the settings we needed to change were um, you know, a little bit more straightforward and it was more intuitive as to how to change that value to achieve a higher level of coverage. If you want to learn more about this or about the other parameters that affect lattice design, there's a lot of information in the help system. So you can get there by clicking the blue question mark icon up here in the top right corner and clicking the more help button. Or you can go to the help menu and select help. And so for this particular topic, I could search for overlap and that would bring me to this topic on the lattice design screen and brings me right to the, uh, the overlap parameters. And so there's information on those and of course all the other parameters that affect lattice design. And if you have more questions, of course, feel free to reach out to our support or applications engineering teams and they'd be happy to help you with any other questions that you have.